Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial in digital image processing. Today we'll discuss LZW compression, which is very famous in image compression techniques. Now please understand, LZW compression mostly works on uh, famous uh, image types like JPEG, BMPs and GIFs. Now the thought process behind using this compression is that whenever uh, an image file is is seen, it is seen as a string of uh, uh, a string of random uh, numbers, which which are repeating in nature at times. So, in you know, building a building a dictionary of patterns which are repeating over and over again uh, will help us compressing the image. I uh, will see that in a moment, but for the time being, we need to uh, see a little bit of theory of LZW compression for the uh, point of view of examination, and then we'll discuss it with two examples that I have on the screen. Now, LZW compression, Abraham Lempel, Jacob Ziv, and Terry Welch. These were the um, scientists uh, who discovered this compression technique. And it's a lossless data compression we'll see that in a while so it's a keyword you could put a star next to it and the compression is performed by building a dictionary of previously seen strings now this is what i was mentioning we'll see how a dictionary is prepared out of a input data string and then it performs coding of groups of characters by varying lengths and we'll see that too and the algorithm is mm, algorithm has three steps. The source sequence is sequentially passed into strings that have not appeared so far. And after every separation, uh, we look at the input sequence until we find shorter string which is not marked before. Now this will be uh, made more clearer if we solve an example. Now for example, we have an input string like this. Now once this input string is received by us, we, we start segregating the characters, we start separating the characters as and when we'll receive them. And once we encounter the characters which we have already received, then we go on, in, then we go on adding more characters into the strings. I'll show you in a moment. For example, this B character is received in the number one position so what i do is i welcome this character and i index this as one so i'm st i'm starting to make up a dictionary of the characters and group of characters uh, which are unique and i'll show you as we progress further so after B is encountered, B is welcomed into our dictionary. I label it as 1 in the index table or the population of dictionary so as to call. Then we receive the next character and we see whether that character is received before or not. So the next character that we receive is A that has not been received before. So we need to welcome it as a new character and we need to assign it as a new number in the index table and I assign it as 2. Then we again receive the third character. Now if the character is received before then we add up one more character and see if that string has been received before or not. 
so that's the key point here so when a comes into the system we see that a has already been received so we cannot give us separate number in the index table to this a because that number has already been given to a before so we take up the next character a b which becomes a group of characters now now has a b been received before the answer is no so it is safe to give a new uh, number in the index table to the group of characters a b now this is super important this is very crucial once we receive a we see that a has already been received so we make up a decision of receiving one more character b and together they become a b and a b has never been uh, reported before as a received group of characters so i give it as three label in the index table and again i receive a which has already received so i go on to add b a b has already been received so i go on to add b again now a b b is something that has not been received before so i uh, group a b b as a set of characters to be labeled as four so it is pretty simple now next we get b please understand b is received before at position number one so i go on to add a, a to this receive b has b a been received before the answer is no so i can group them and assign them a label five easily now a has been received at position number two a b has been received at position number three a b b has been received at position number four so what we have is a b b b so this group of characters this set has never been received so i put a b b b as six now this is the first step now this step is known as building up of dictionary or the population of index table now once we once we are through with this table then the things become uh, easier and uh, the compression will start to happen the next step is what we do is we for for the single character that we receive we transmit b as it is and this is again a single character so we transmit a as it is now please understand a b we need to segregate the last character from the rest of the string the last character will be written as it is and the rest of the string in this case the rest of the string consists of one character in this case the rest of the string consists of two characters in this case it consists of one character and in this case it consists of three characters so what we do is we write down the last character as it is and the rest of the string will surely and definitely match some string previously encountered for example the rest of the string is a it's been encountered before as number two so i write down two b so that has started that has started to compress the data now it will make more sense here i'll write down b here and the rest of the string is a b a b has been encountered before and has been labeled as three so i'll write down three b so this this group of characters which was otherwise taking up space of three uh, units 
has now been reduced to only two units. Out of those two units, one is of course uh, the bit, the last bit and the rest is a reference string previously encountered. So we are reusing this string a, b as 3 because this has been labeled earlier or indexed earlier in the string. Similarly, we write down a and besides a, we'll write, write down uh, this thing b which has been encountered earlier as 1. So I write down 1 here and then along with this b, we have encountered a, b, b as 4. So I write down 4, b. So you can see this this string of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 um, characters has been reduced to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 characters. So this will start to make sense more when the string length is larger or when the repetitions in the strings are more. So this is one such condition that I'll discuss in the next tutorial. And this is, uh, by the way, known as the compressed output. And there are ways to uh, convert this compressed output into uh, a code which is known as LZW coding. Uh, although I have made a separate video on LZW coding, uh, I'll still explain that if we assign you know a as 0 and b as 1 so we talk about binary number system and in this case only two characters are there so we can assign 0 1 if there were three characters we could have used 0 0 0 1 1 0 etc so we write down b as 1 a as 0 now we write down the decimal equivalent uh, sorry binary equivalent of 2 which becomes 1 0 and b is again 1 then 3 is 1 1 b is 1 1 is 0 1 and a is 0 and 4 is uh, 1 0 0 and b is 1 so this becomes lzw coding so from the compressed output it is easier to um, code it into binary uh, system which is pretty easy but <clears throat> the objective of this lecture was to uh, get the compressed output in the form of uh, a table which is built from the dictionary and similarly if we do this example this is more or less similar with additional uh, input the string is length and a bit so b will get 1 because never been encountered a never been encountered will be indexed as 2 a b again a has been encountered so i'll include b with it i'll add the characters for indexing so it becomes 3 a b is encountered so i'll add a b b as 4 b seen before so b a never seen before i label it as 5 a b b seen before so a b b b never seen before i example label it as 6 b a seen before b a a never seen before so i go with 7 so this being a single character uh, will be written as b no no reference of the left leftover strings otherwise you could write down phi in some cases which again means that nothing is there so a again can be simply written as a then b and the indexed leftover characters are a in this case so a is 2 so twice of b and again b we write down as it is and a b is written as 3 a is written as as it is b is again 1 so b again written as it is and the leftover characters are seen before and are indexed at number 4 4b 
and A written as it is and BA is seen before as number 5. So this becomes our compressed output. Now if you, uh, if you look at this statement again, it performs coding of groups. It performs coding of groups of characters of varying lengths so uh, and why is this lossless data compression because uh, even if we see at uh, even if we see at these set of characters which are kind of new characters uh, introduced as a result of indexing this 2b clearly states that b is b is preceded by 2 which is nothing but a so no loss is there b is preceded by 3 which is nothing but a b so it will take the value of 3 from the index table as a b so no loss is there actually and b is preceded by 4 which is nothing but uh, a b b so when decompression occurs uh, the value of 4 is substituted as ABB from the index table without any loss. So this is one famous technique of compression known as LZW compression, very very famous in image compression and it and it lays a foundation stone of understanding how run length uh, coding occurs and what is the rationale and the thought process uh, behind compression of repetitive strings and i hope this tutorial was of help if you liked the video give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel you have a great life ahead good day bye